Breaking news, Nigerians. This will really shock you. As Nigerian police, DSS, arrest Igbo chief who vowed to bring IPOP to Lagos for protection. The Igbo leader was arrested on Saturday morning by, by a joint team of policemen and operatives of the Department of State Services. This is what we are talking about. When something they happen like this, this government, not they take action. In the first place, we have to go back, make me rewind back to what happened. What brought the what brought about the attacks on Igbo people in Lagos State? Was it not somebody that made that threat? Was it not somebody that pushed people to be attacking Igbos because they refused to vote for their preferred candidates? And now the question is. What have the Nigerian police force done to these people who have made such insightful statements? Nothing. Till today, the attacks on Igbos and Lagos persist. It has never stopped. This is Nigeria for you. When things happen, nobody wants to take responsibilities. That is it. Then when people won't come out like this, they won't defend themselves or say things out of anger and all that. DSS, they don't, they come after you. Nigerian police, they come after you. Now the question is, where are those people who are attacking people for nothing? Where are those people who have made these threats? Nigerians have been calling DSS to arrest MC Olomo, even Femi Fanikayode that asked Igbos to start packing from Lagos State. Till today, nothing has been done. Nigerian government. Nigeria is supposed to be one, no? But the way the whole thing is going now, we not understand again. Before Igbos, we are saying uh, the Northerners are maltreating them. Okay, see what halal. This one now, now government from the Southwest. When I want begin, come they see the face problem from the Southwesterners. If Igbos are not welcomed in Nigeria, can't you just give them their freedom, let them go? That is it. You kept quiet, all things, these things have been happening. Then when people say things out of anger, you don't, you, you, you start reacting. Just like uh, Fulani men attacking people. The government will not take action. But when people stood to defend themselves, they don't begin to arrest communities. It's a shame. I beg, make me hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Nigerian Police Force, Lagos State Command, has arrested Frederick Mwajago, the Azibo of Ajero Estate in Lagos State, who vowed to invite members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, to Lagos State in order to secure Igbo properties in the state. A source in the police who preferred anonymity confirmed that the Igbo leader was arrested on Saturday morning by a joint team of policemen and operatives of the Department of State Services. A team of Lagos and DSS went to his palace, but he had already fled. He was later traced to a hotel in Ajibu, where he was arrested. The source told Punch. Sahara reporters had on Friday reported that Mwajaku, in a 49-second video shared on Twitter by one D1 Ayokutu, said that the move was necessary due to attacks on Igbo people in the States. The Igbo leader had stated that he stood by his words and that his people must take a stand in Lagos State by shutting down their economic activities to protect the alleged intimidation they had been facing from other non Igbo residents of the state. In the video obtained by Sahara reporters, he, said, he had said, if not one month, two, two weeks, if not two weeks, for a one week, if not one week, three days. Let us know how it is between us and them in this state, since they have been chasing us to go. 
let's shut down for one week or two weeks so we can know how the state will be. Whether Igbos travel, whenever Igbos travel for Christmas, the state will be empty and they will be waiting for us to come back. And when we will return, the state will become busy. And there will be traffic jam and everything will become busy. Now they are asking us to go. They should stop threatening us with going back to our place. We will stop peace and peace will stop. If we shut down markets, we have securities in Anambra. The IPOB, we, we invite them and we will pay them. And that is part of what we can do for them and give them a job. Members of IPOB have no job. When shut down markets, IPOB will secure our shops and we will pay them. We have to start that and we will have to, we have, to have our own security so that they will stop attacking us in the midnight, in the morning, in the, in the afternoon. They will stop attacking us by emergency. So this is what he said. And somebody will blame him. Why did he make such statements? And somebody will not blame the Lagos state government who have refused to do something all this Why? Is it a cause to be a Nigerian? I don't understand. I beg my people, wait till I get to talk concerning this. Let's hear from you. Please kindly watch the video again. Thank you. If not one month, two weeks, if not two weeks, for one week, if not one week, three days, I know guys, I know I said that. Hey, man, 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 man. I shut them down. Yes. But one week, two weeks. Yes, what are you talking about? I'm not going back home. 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 I'm I invite I invite We will invite them. Period. I have That's a part of what we can be doing for them. They never We secure them jobs. None of IPOBs have not. They have no jobs. Those IPOBs, we will all of them all our shops and we have to pay them. We have to mobilize for that. We have to do that. We must have our own security so that they will stop attacking us. In the midnight, in the morning, in the afternoon, they will stop attacking us. Emergency. Yes. When they discover that we have our own securities, before they will come, we take that already. They will know that we have our own men there. I'm not saying a single way to be hiding. I don't hide my ways. Let my ways to go by. Yeah, and part of this yeah. thing that Ibo must get their rights and get stand in Lagos State. Nibo, we are not troublemakers. We don't fight them. We don't get. We don't. We never fight the robbers. Those two people that you reverse. When we decided to vote where you vote, you vote to vote. You cannot force someone to vote to vote where you don't want to vote. You cannot force yourself to be a leader. When you want to be a leader, the community, the time, the time, the time, we bring you up and say, come and lead us. When you are forcing yourself to lead, that means you have a schedule in your cover. So, I'm Good. Going to, to collect money anytime from anybody. But to I'm a party to become one Nigeria and let Ibo come to stay in Lagos. Any part of Nigeria, Ibo must be there. Yes. He said.